Happy sunshine, family. Lunacy's back for part six, stuck between a hat J and a presepe. We're reading through the October 18th transcript from Knoxville, Tennessee in the Honorable C. Clifford Shirley Jr.'s courtroom. We're almost done, just a few pages left to go. And we left off page 85 going into page 86. The judge is asking Anne Marie Sfalto, and is it your understanding that it's my duty to follow the law of the Sixth Circuit? Yes, it is. Okay, thank you. Thank you, says Anne Marie. Judge says, all right. Mr. Giraffe, response to that? Uh, I, I don't know if this is a typo or if he actually referred to Heather as Mr. I'm not quite sure. Are you familiar with the Pryor case? U.S. v. Pryor. I can give you the site if you'd like it. No, replies Heather. I'm familiar with all that. Do you agree replies the judge that it's my, or excuse me, that it's part of my obligation to follow the rulings of the superior, the court above me, the court of appeals, the sixth circuit. Heather's reply is, I am familiar with every case that Anne Marie Sfalto cited. I didn't ask you that, says the judge. I asked you about matters such as stare decisis, precedent, things like that. That I'm supposed to follow the law when they say what the law is, right? I'm familiar with that, replies Heather. Um, probably a good thing to just pull up a quick page here on these terms. Stare decisis we'll start off with. Okay. All right, you guys should be able to see that now. Stare decisis is a doctrine or policy of following rules or principles laid down in previous judicial decisions unless they contravene with the ordinary principles of justice. So that's what Judge Shirley is referring to when he says stare decisis. He's basically saying, hey, there's a court above me and I have to follow Basically, the precedence that they set, that's what stare decisis is. Now, let's just look up precedent. We'll go to the legal definition. Okay, we'll go to definitions.uslegal.com. Wow, that's taking a long time to pull up. Okay, precedent means deferring to a prior reported opinion of an appeals court which forms the basis in the future on the same legal question decided in the prior judgment. The requirement that a lower court must follow a precedent is called stare decisis. So this is what the judge is talking about right here. Let's see if I can make this a little bigger for you guys. All right. So, 
I asked you about matters such as stare decisis, precedent, things like that, that I'm supposed to follow the law when they say what the law is, right? Heather says, I'm familiar with that. Judge says, I mean, do you agree I'm supposed to do that or not? Heather says, please, just make your declarations, and then I'll respond to make my response that you had asked me for. So as far as you kind of, you asked me, do I have a response? I went to start, and then you started in about prior. Judge says, well, I meant your response to that last part, to the prior case. Do you have a response to that? I have a response to... She talked about the sovereign citizen, the Constitution as well, was brought in because she declared that she's relying on her written statements, correct? Yes, but Heather cuts him off. So as far as sovereign citizen, I cancel that. That's an oxymoron to begin with. I'm not a citizen. The judge says, you're not a citizen? Heather continues, or a sovereign. Sovereign requires someone underneath you to rule. And I'm going to pause right here, and you can see that right in the middle or the end of the word sovereign is the word reign. And that goes with rule. So that you can rule them. I'm not a sovereign. I'm not a sovereign citizen. I don't even know what that means. I'm not a constitutionalist, or is she even limited to to me being a, am I myself and Mr. Randall Bean as being human? What is it? A bled? And let me refer to that. I'm, let me read through this again. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what she's trying to get across in this last part. I understand the sovereign citizen part. I'm not a constitutionalist or she even limited to me being a, am I, myself and Mr. Bean as being human. What is it? A bled and let me refer to that. Well, maybe she clears it up coming down here. But she's referring to something that I believe she here is Anne-Marie Sfalto and something that was in her filing. She has just before you now declared that she's relying on her filings, her response to supposedly the motion. And we all know it's not a motion, it's a precipe. Number one, I correct the fact that I have not made a motion. I made a precipe based on the due clause. And I wonder if she means based on due cause. I'm not I'm not sure if it's due cause or due clause that's meant there. Hmm. However, as far as her reference right now to a sovereign citizen, there is no way I can be a sovereign citizen. It's an oxymoron and just in the actual phrase, sovereign citizen. I don't subscribe to any of that. I don't subscribe to constitutionalism because of the basis under the fact that the Constitution was a contract. I was not a party to or signatory to it. However, through fraud and everything else that has been committed, everyone had been brought in as an employee, which is what the Social Security cards in part are just in part. I'm not no longer that as well. I'm not an employee of any corporation offered under the guise of government. I'm not a citizen of any corporation operating under the guise of government. Again, I do reject, I duly reject Anne-Marie Sfalto's presentation by relying on what she's filed. I orally, duly cancel or reject it without dishonor for the same reasons as before, which is, she has not provided identification, due verification, validation of identification, authority or authorization to present on behalf of the United States. And in response to everyone here, the record is still void of anyone's due verification and validation of identification, authority, authorization to present on behalf of, in this case, Anne-Marie Svalto and Cynthia Davidson, to be able to present for the United States. 
as far as C. Clifford Shirley Jr. presenting on behalf of, hmm, not sure, Eastern District of Tennessee Department, excuse me, United States, but that is the title you have, Eastern, or excuse me, United States Eastern District of Tennessee Magistrate Judge. So all of the record is void of any of that authorization, authority, and identification. I re-declare orally and via precipe to enter dismissal with prejudice and declaration of due cause. That was document, I believe, 43, and then also document 54, the precipe, which was filed yesterday, October 17th, 2017, as if restated and incorporated by reference as, the reporter says, as if what? The court says, set forth in full. Heather says, sorry, the microphone, do I need to pull it closer? Judge says, just talk slower. Heather says, okay, so I accept every statement that has been issued by C. Clifford Shirley Jr., Anne Marie Sfalto, as well as Cynthia Davidson. What do you mean you accept them, says the judge. Heather says, I accept all the statements you've made here today. You accept that? Heather continues, as proof of collusion, ignorance, and corruption. I, at this point, would say not corruption because I believe that there is an ignorance, but not by your design, but by the design of those who actually will be charged or, excuse me, the accounts ledgered. But it is not due to your own willing and knowing actions of what actually is the law. That's the problem here. So at this point, all your statements are accepted as proof of, number one, failure to not provide and intent not to provide the sworn verifications and validations that you have that are your burden to meet as well as statements, proof of your ignorance and incompetency to move forward in this particular case. Thank you. All right, thank you, says the judge. Now, Mr. Bean, Randall says, yes, I'd like to accept and adopt what Ms. Tucci Giraffe has just added. Okay, says the judge. Randall continues, also add to, for myself, The sovereign citizen status, probably he means also as to, not add to. Also as to for myself, the sovereign citizen status has been pinned on me. I've never admitted to being a sovereign citizen. I do not accept that statement. That's a good thing to get on the record, Randy. Okay, says the judge. Randy continues, it is my understanding a sovereign citizen is considered a terrorist of the United States, and I am not a terrorist. I do not accept being called a sovereign citizen in this courtroom. All right, says the judge, is there anything else that you would like to say about any of your other filings? Not at this point, no. Okay, says the judge, anything else on behalf of the government? Anne Marie Falto says, no, thank you, Your Honor. Judge says, all right, the court will. He pauses. I'm going to take this under advisement. Interesting that uh, that he changes instead of the court will take this under advisement. He is now saying that he himself is taking this under advisement. Ordinarily, I would say I would rule on the filings. Little difference here since... Ms. Giraffe asked me not to do that because it's specifically not a motion, but rather an order to me to do something. So I'll just have to take that under advisement, give it my due consideration, and I will issue a ruling in any event and will decide what to do going forward in this matter. All right. There being nothing further, court stands in recess till the trial resumes this afternoon. All rise, says the courtroom deputy. This honorable court stands in recess. These proceedings were adjourned at 11.24 a.m. Then we've got the certificate of the court reporter, Rebecca Lockwood. All right. Well, there you have it, family. That's the end of the 
Precipate transcript. And what a, what a way to end it here for Heather. I'm going to go back and read that again. Okay, so I accept every statement that has been issued by C. Clifford Shirley Jr., Anne Marie Svalto, as well as Cynthia Davidson. What do you mean you accept them, says the judge? I accept all the statements you've made here today. You accept that? Asks the judge. Heather says, as proof of collusion, ignorance, and corruption. I, at this point, would say not corruption because I believe that there is an ignorance, but not by your design but by the design of those who actually will be charged. Or excuse me, the accounts ledgered. But it is not due to your own willing and knowing actions of what actually is the law. That's the problem here. So at this point, all of your statements are accepted as proof of, number one, failure to not provide and intent not to provide the sworn verifications and validations that you have, that are your burden to meet, as well as statements, proof of your ignorance and incompetency to move forward in this particular case. Thank you. That's a pretty potent way to, to close out your position. All right. Well, I love you guys an awful lot. Thank you so much for the leaving all the comments and the emails. If you've got any love, light, or links for me, send them to lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E, -E, at protonmail.com. Uh, you know, today being November 11th, it is 11-11. And it being 2017, well, the when you work that year out numerology, numerologically it becomes a one so we're really 11 11 one right now that's an awful lot of ones going on today so how fitting is it that we uh, close out 11 11 one with Heather's final declaration to the Eastern District of Tennessee the Honorable C Clifford Shirley Jr's courtroom that was pretty potent for me. And I've noticed that I'm on the edge of my seat too. There's more than just Terry Lester on the edge of their seat. So while we're on the edge of our seat, we are making direct observations and we are noting that the behavior that comes from the court, it's not really about words anymore. It's about behavior. What do they... What do they present us to look at going forward next? And that is going to be a window into exactly who they are. And that is why we're all on the edges of our seats. So let's all hold a high vibration. Let's all imagine what it's going to feel like, the ease rushing into our lives when we have unwound this rat's nest of deception, unconscious ignorance, willful ignorance, and ego. Peace out. I love you.